Is everybody comfortable? I'm comfortable. I'm not going to say anything more until this guy gets his goddamn equipment going. I've always found that the best way to get a job done is to use the uh, Blitzkrieg approach. And get the job done before anyone realizes what you're up to. And then, of course, you have to pay the consequences. When Starzl began this work, the notion of transplantation was science fiction. There's something ghoulish going in and snatching an organ and using it to give life to someone else. At the very beginning, 50, 60, 70 percent survival rates in one year, that means that a lot of people died. What Tom Starzl did, had he tried that today, he would, without any doubt, be put in jail. Tom is a kind of Nietzschean Superman. I know he's empathetic, but he's able to steel himself against his human emotions better than the vast majority of us. Even very experienced surgeons would say, this is hopeless, we should just simply end the operation. And he would persist, and people would go home, I mean, and have wonderful, fulfilling lives. I was sick, really sick. And then I have the transplant, and instead of getting worse every day, I get better every day. That was a, a really wonderful, kind of shockingly great experience. I had a failing liver, and I was expecting to die because they weren't transplanting HIV-positive people. Dr. Stossel saved my life. Clearly, Dr. Starzl had a vision for a better life for, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. I saw patients come in closer to death than they've ever been and then leave. It was just nothing short of miraculous. It's very important to not think that history is just about politics and war, because so is music, so is finance, so is poetry and art and architecture and science and technology and medicine. And I think future historians will say Tom Starzl and others like him will be considered the heroes of our time. Well, I heard other statements to the effect that only a criminal would do that. I think the uh, interface between heroic endeavor and being an outcast is not all that great. And of course, if, if you do anything uh, off the mark, there will be people who will go after you he said, do you know why I succeeded? I said, no, I don't. He said, because I ignored the bullets. Ignore all your enemies and focus in your productivity, and everything will be fine.